one I just want to give you a quick rundown of some of the things about the boat that I didn't mention last time maybe go into some of the cabinets and sizes and things so this is the big swim deck on the back this is the option but when we get in the kicker motor I wanted to get the, the larger swim deck because uh, it don't you we just have a little bit of space for your motors it'll be hard to get in and out of the boat hey moose I got leaves coming down everywhere right now that time of year so the bench seat that's a, that's an option so the boat doesn't come with a lot of stuff you have to add a lot of stuff but for the price I was still super excited and I'll tell you guys some of the MSRP prices and stuff later but I feel like I got a lot of boat for the money to be honest with you so this one does have the self bailing deck it's got the little ping pong balls in there I had to get the raw water washed down now that is a option I had to add to it doesn't come with that and like I said the big seat folds up and you know about this uh back deck I mean it's big but it's not huge or anything so by the time you fold the seat up I don't know how much more stuff you're really gonna need but uh I kind of show you some of the insides and stuff this is a all fiberglass boat there's actually no wood in this boat at all and it has a lifetime warranty so the uh, the two fish boxes on the side back here there's a little valve right there you can turn and you turn that back and forth and there's the bilge and the drain plug and I did get some underwater lights so they're down in there and there's the fuel tank right below us here so it's easy access and like I said here's the fish boxes here and uh, moose look out look out moose look out moose so the two fish boxes so you turn on which one you want depending on which side you're on if you want to drain it out and it does have the pump and chop it up and everything And then kind of just want to show you guys some of the stuff on the inside so the uh you know that it just comes with nicer things compared to some of the other boats i was looking at you know the windows are nicer this big alaskan door i mean it has the big deadbolt on it you know i mean this is really nice and i, I looked around at a lot of boats and you know some of the some of them i don't know especially you know i come from an rv background and a lot of them just kind of felt like an RV and and I don't know if you guys know anything about RVs or not but I know some of you do have been RV and like me and man stuff tears up and it's just made real cheap I, I can kind of show you the difference in my RV it's just amazing unless you get some real top of the line like Prevost or you know maybe like a top of the line Tiffin or something they just um they just don't hold up RVs don't um, I did get the Lumitech lights um, I sent those to them and they installed them for me. They do come with some regular lights, but I'm doing a whole Lumitech system in here with the Poco controller and that way I can control it on my chart plotter. Uh, this option, the rod holder, I got the six. I think they make a eight and a 12 maybe for this boat. On the inside, let me show you some of you guys, some of the things in here. Cause man, when I was looking, there's nothing on this boat no information and this boat's made in Bremerton, washington and i had to get shipped all the way to the east coast and i used a i used a company called u ship so basically some dude just drove it all the way from washington which was pretty wild but but he just drove it over here and it was hard to find any information on it at all but you got the bilge you got the drains there that's for the toilet the toilet and I'm not sure if that other one might be the sink I'll have to look and see but you know everything's real heavy duty these magnets are tough made real well you got lots of storage in there big storage area look out moose you got a good storage in there with a carpet back it's got the side facing seat then the front seat facing seat here and let me show you in this cabinet here 
so this is where the batteries are at I'm probably gonna put my inverter and in. I'm doing a lithium setup too and I'm gonna do my stereo and my lights and everything on lithium but you got a big area in here so I got plenty of room for batteries and inverters and things but big seat here this folds down let's see if I can do this on camera And then you got the pad over here. You can see you got a pad. Put that pad across here. And it makes another berth. I, I'm, I'm six foot tall and I can lay across there. You know, you have to adjust it a little bit to make it even, but it's, it's really comfortable. And of course this seat right here, back, you know, you can flip it and put it down in there uh, for when somebody wants to be front facing but lots of room I got two kids and so it's a gives us more room than some of the other boats I was looking at some of the other pilot house boats you know don't really have a whole lot of room and just for the just for the price and boats are so expensive you can really get out of control with the pricing it's a really nice table here so you got the sink button here turn it on control your sink here And I took one of these panels off down here because I was looking about how I'm going to run some wires. But it's got a six gallon tank for the fresh water right there. And that, and the outlet's on the outside so you can put your fresh water in. There's a little blue screw on cap out there you can put your fresh water in. Under here you got, look how loose. Ooh, look out, boy. Under here you got more storage. I just got my manuals and stuff in there right now. And then in here you got some more of your valves for your toilet and everything. And then if you get water, it runs into the bilge there. Probably not going to get much water in here. I'm going to try to keep it really clean in here. The refrigerator is real nice. Now I wanted to do some shock seats, but I wasn't able to because there's not a lot of space here. Now I did see something on Amazon I might try that has like a little spring to it but there's just not a lot of space here as you can see so you can't really put a big shock absorbing seat like I want it to the refrigerator's real nice it's got the little freezer in it and enough room for drinks and everything some food some good camping weekends and it locks up real good moose moose but and here's a real big storage area in here not sure what i'm gonna put in here yet let's go in there and look so we can figure out what size it is it's got the carpet back so if you want to run wires and stuff behind it, it's real easy i didn't get any of the electronics and stuff because i can do all that myself it's not too hard but it does come with a nicer steering wheel. It's got the turnball on it and everything. It's um, I was looking at some of the steering wheels on some of the other boats too, and um, it already comes with the the really good one. I feel like I was gonna want anyway. I got the kicker um, mo uh, motor controller here, and then of course the main motor. The kicker seems like it's kind of in a little bit of a weird spot. I don't know. Once you sit back, you can kind of put your arm back there. I really decided on that. You know, they make some remote ways you can put out back, outside even, where you can control everything if you want to. So I might do something like that. I have some kind of remote. Um, I, this, uh, this, all these buttons right here, the snaps. Um, they, they actually, there's a carpet that goes across here. So this, this is extra, and I bought this uh, extra dash here and it comes with the carpet that snaps in and it snaps in there and then that gives you your v-birth privacy but it also if you're using the toilet it's what it's really for but let me pick this up so the toilet's a full dometic porcelain toilet 
It's electric. It's got a holding tank. Let me show you. Look out, miss. It's got a holding tank right here. And that's the same one as the sink as a six gallon holding tank. Instead of they're just using it as a holding tank instead of a water tank. So you have the pump out, but you also can send it out, you know, if you're out in the ocean <laughs> far enough out. You just gotta check the laws and everything on that where you're at. Of course you can't do that in lakes and stuff. But you have all the the controls and everything for it. And it's a lot to it, a lot more than I honestly thought. These little toilets, I thought it was gonna be pretty simple. But there's a lot of um there's a lot of components to these things. And then you got your storage up there or your anchor. I did get the windlass. Of course that was extra too. But I just didn't want to have to have somebody helping me anchor all the time. It's just so easy. But then it's got a real big window here. I'm sure if there was a fire or something I could fit out of there. Like an egress type window. And I think I showed this in the last video. But the, everything's really well organized down here. Of course I got to change some stuff up and add some stuff. I'm probably going to do my chart plotter next. And I did get the Mercury motor. It's got the 200 horsepower out there. And I have the one that tells you your gallons per hour and things like that. Miles per gallon. But I am going to um, have it access to my chart plotter with the NMEA. And I'll better see everything on there like that too. But you know, when I was looking online, there wasn't a whole lot of videos. I found a few and I just couldn't really see a whole lot. And I, I looked at some of the other pilot house boats and, you know, this one has a lifetime warranty. It seems that, I mean, look at the, the quality is really good. It has the different panels. I'm going to change these lights out with the Lumitech lights so I can do the, the red and the white. And I'll, I'm probably going to get the ones that are just touch. And I'll better control that all from a chart plotter also i better control everything from my phone or chart plotter things like that it's got some places here you can put papers you know quick access you get pulled over by the wildlife fisheries coast guard or whatever but lots of storage lots of lots of area you can see it's a it's just really well made you know i feel like this is going to be something that i can keep forever that the quality is really there it's not something that's gonna tear up in 10 years like a like an RV and it's like I said some of the other boats I used I looked at they just really didn't seem like the quality was really there to me it just seemed real lacking you know it had some, they had some laminate laminate wood and laminate laminate particle board things like that and this is heavy. I can barely pick it up with one hand holding this camera. Everything is just made real sturdy, real heavy duty. Solid wood, solid metal. It's a fishing machine. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I'm ready to get it out on the water. Start actually using it. I'm trying to get all my stuff done. You know, it made a 3,000 mile trip on the trailer so i gotta i'm gonna oil the bearings and you know get everything i gotta get all my paperwork in order i got things to do i gotta i want to get my chart plotters and things like that in here but yeah if you're looking at other boats you know check this one out I mean, i'm not sponsored or anything by them it's just all what i found on the internet and what i what i like and talking to the people they were real easy to deal with and real easy to get along with. The guy I used, the salesman there, Mark, he was real nice. He was kind of a younger guy. You know, he was any kind of questions since I was buying it from from the internet. You know, he was willing to, you know, take measurements and answer questions for me because there's just not a lot of information on this boat on the internet. You know, I found a few things. But just having somebody there that you can talk to and go over go over everything with you it was a uh, was awesome it really made all the difference but i got room i wanted the bigger space i wanted the weekend boat where i can camp and things like that 
and the deck's still big enough for me we can all come out here i can still cook and things like that but i just want to give you guys a little bit more rundown of, of what all the inside and everything looked like and maybe you can kind of see inside some of the cabinets and get some ideas if anybody wants me to measure anything or you want any more information just let me know and and i can always uh get you some more information on stuff but anyway that's it thanks for tuning in